try your best to see if you can be a part of that conversation. Because the idea of this one page three option proposal is that it really can't speak for itself. You need to be there to provide the context. Hey everyone, I'm Shannon Lee, the Managing Director at Win Without Pitching, and I'm happy to be back to you today with an answer to another Ask Me Anything question. I just came out of leading one of our public workshops last week, and there were tons of great questions and conversations during the reflection and Q&A time. And one of the questions that came up was, what if you're in the closing meeting and the client suddenly kind of becomes uncomfortable with the budget that you're talking about and they want to go back and talk to their CEO? What do you do? Good question. Happens all the time. I'm going to pull us back to the qualifying conversation first, though, because that's where you're trying to get a sense of financial fit. Is there a financial fit here that makes sense for us to keep talking, right? You're not trying to get that client to agree to the budget, the level of investment that needs to be made to work with you. You're just getting a sense of, are we on the same page? So let's just, as a point of process, make sure that that is happening so that when you get to the closing meeting, numbers have been discussed at a couple of points throughout the sales cycle. The other option, not option, but the other thing that takes place is in the value conversation, when you're defining metrics and uncovering what kind of value can be created, you're also assigning a budget range that you're asking that client permission uh, for to go back and work with your team when you create those options. So that's another point in the process where you're saying, okay, if we think we can create X amount of value, would you be willing to invest X on the high uh, to get that value in return, right? So you're agreeing to a range that you can go back and work within so that by the time you get to the closing conversation, when you walk through those options, you have an option that is within the original stated budget. As an example, you might have a big anchor option where you got the permission to kind of think and dream big and then something in the middle. So it's not a surprise. But if you run into a client who all of a sudden is getting cold feet in that closing conversation, you want to find out, OK, so we've talked a bit about the numbers along the way. Sounds like something maybe has changed. Can we talk about that a little bit? What's causing you pause? Is there a reason you wouldn't move forward with us today doing that final sweep for objections? And if, in fact, that person has to go back and talk to the CEO, try your best to see if you can be a part of that conversation. Because the idea of this one page three option proposal is that it really can't speak for itself. You need to be there to provide the context and explain what you would do in that meeting. So that person is reassured you're not going to go off on a tangent and suck all the air out of the room <laughs> when you have the moment with the CEO to kind of walk through things and answer questions. So there's a number of things kind of going on within that question, but you might in fact have to agree, yeah, let that let that client to be go back and talk with their team, see if in fact you can be a part of that conversation, and if not, give them the talking points they need to get through the conversation and agree to a date and time when they're going to come back to you and let you know what the decision is or, or let you know if further conversation is required. Hope that helps. Hope you're all having a great day out there. Keep those questions coming. We'll see you down the road. Cheers.